hello welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be learning how to cut a handkerchief flare cutting a handkerchief flare is a very easy thing to do but some beginners might find it difficult which is why i made this video for you guys so if you're a beginner you don't know how to go about cutting your handkerchief flare i'm sure this video is for you do wait to stay tuned to the end of the video to get all these steps all right but before we go right into the video if you're here to subscribe to my channel please do wait to hit on the subscribe button Turn on the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop new video. So without further ado, let's go right into the video. So to cut your handkerchief flare, the first thing you have to do is to fold your fabric into two like this. You fold it into two and then fold it into four again like this. You first fold it into two and then into four again. We have different ways of cutting a handkerchief flare. We have the 360 degree method, the 720 degree method, and the 1440 degree method. The only difference between them is that the 360 degree method has only four pointed parts. The 720 has eight pointed parts and the 1440 has 16 pointed parts, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do right here is to get my waist measurement how to get your waist measurement you divide your waist by 6.28 that is how to calculate your radius all right the formula for calculating your radius is to divide your waist by 6.28 it's more like a constant thing or like a standard for calculating your radius so my waist is 26 i added two inches for seam allowance or zipper allowance by 6.28 i have about 4.48 so i'll make it 4.5 inches so i will mark the 4.5 inches all around i'll place my tape this way and then mark the 4.5 inches all around please pay attention to what i'm doing here how to get your radius your radius you divide your waist measurement by 6.28 is like a standard um measurement all right so i'll connect the points like this so the next thing i'm going to do right here is to mark the length of my skirt so I'm going to place my tape here and see what I have left. So I have about 9.5 inches left. So I'm going to use this for the length of my skirt. This is what I have left. So I'll use, so I'll come to this other part. I'm going to mark the 9.5 inches. I have about 15 inches, but I'm only going to mark the 9.5 inches I mark on the other side, on this side, because this side and the other one must be equal, all right? So I'll mark the 9.5 inches here as well. Make sure this side and the other side is equal, all right? Then the five, the 4.5 inches I took for my waist, on this open end, I'm going to replace it here. Please pay attention to what I'm doing here. Whatever you take for your waist measurement, make sure on the open end you place it before marking the 9.5 or whatever you mark for your length on this open end, all right? You replace the waist measurement and then before putting your um your normal length measurement okay then i'll connect the points i have on this open end to these other points here I hope you you get what I'm doing. You understand what I'm doing here, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do right here is to cut out the um, the pattern paper. This is all for the measurement, all right? It's very very easy, like I said before. A handkerchief flare is very very easy to cut. So you can see make sure this side and this side are equal right so the next thing i'm going to do is to open the pattern paper so when you open your pattern paper this is what you will have so after opening your pattern paper you 
on the pointed on the pointed edge you take the one that is up on one side and then on the other edge you take the one that is down please look at what i'm doing you take the one that is up on one edge and then the one that is down on the other edge and then you open your pattern paper and then match them and match them together like this we are trying to form the handkerchief flare now and this is how to do it please look at what pay attention to what i'm doing so you just go ahead and arrange your pattern paper so after arranging your pattern paper you're going to have like a big triangle something like this yes you have a big triangle like this so this is this side is the shorter part and this one is the longest part so when you open your pattern paper this is what you, you see the handkerchief flare coming out now when you are done sewing this is what you're going to have you can see it's very very beautiful so the next thing i'm going to do right here is to open my zipper um my center back where i'm going to fix my zip but before then i will place my pattern paper together like this i'll fold it this way to have a straight line so i can cut properly i'll fold it this way then when i open it this is where i'm going to open the center back so you pick one of the longer part and then you open it this way this is where you are going to fix your zip this is the center back and then the one under is the center front you get it right the one i'm tearing up is the center back where you are going to fix your zip and then the down one is the center front all right so when you fix your zip and when you are done sewing this is how it's going to look like you see the shape of the handkerchief flesh coming out already this is how it's going to look very very easy and beautiful right so this is it this is all for a handkerchief flare very easy all right so this is the end of our tutorial for today but before we go right please if you have not subscribed do where to subscribe to my channel please support me subscribe to my channel if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you want more of this video right thank you for staying tuned see you in my